Dude, my lawn looks so good this year using Turf Titan products, honestly. Soil microbes. I mean, I can even see like the worm castings right now. Man, my lawn was peaking before these grubs. All right, guys, here it is. Grub situation that, you know, I did in my last video, which is up here. If you didn't see it, so we're on the same page. Check it out. Uh, yeah, I got hit with grubs. I didn't treat the lawn and I'm an idiot. So now I did not replace it. It's a little late to grow seed uh, here in Michigan. It's a little chilly. Ground temperatures are still warm, but I still don't want to risk it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is this. A subscriber, uh, I'll put his little thing right here. He suggested this stuff, Milky Spore. I've never heard of it before, checked it out. The theory behind this, and this only covers grubs, the white grubs and Japanese beetles. The theory behind it is these beetles lay eggs, the larva grubs, and then now you put this stuff, water it in. Your soil gets into the roots, grubs eat the roots. As grubs deteriorate, go into, or whatever, they disintegrate, whatever you wanna call it, go back into the soil and get all in there. And then now the babies, grubs come in, they eat the roots and they get that milky spore bacteria in them. And it's just a cycle. It's a vicious cycle until all the grubs are gone. They say that this can cover you up to 10 years you gotta put down multiple applications. But, so it says do this, apply this for two years. They make the powder version. I don't know about that. So I got the granular version and we gotta use a drop spreader for this. To go over what uh, you know the product says, you wanna use a drop spreader. See, there's a difference. There's a powder form of this and a granular. I went with the granular. The powder form, I heard you look like a crazy person. You gotta use this tube and you like dab one little square per every couple feet. It's very odd looking, uh, but they have a granular and they suggest that you use a drop spreader. Not that this stuff is like toxic to humans or pets or your flowers or anything like that. You can get it in the flower beds, it says. But for accuracy, it says use a drop spreader because this right here, if you didn't know, these are called broadcast spreaders and they have this little like fan down here and it broadcasts everything everywhere. And you know, which I've used for seeding my front lawn, kind of leaves a, it hits the tire kind of, and like drops down. These are garbage. I don't ever buy any of these. Just to let you know, even though they're nice, uh, convenient, everything hits the tire and drops down at least stripped. All right, so this is a 20 pound bag and it's to cover 7,000 square feet. So now that we went over, you know, both of these spreaders and why to use a drop spreader, because first off, they're more accurate. So let's take a look at what Milky Spore, I always want to call Milk Thistle. Here's Looks like uh, gravel. That is what we are going to put in there. I have 6,000 square feet and it should take up majority of this bag. Can't find any specs on this machine, this spreader. All right, let's drop some stuff. See this? This is animals in the middle of the night. They're still hitting up the grubs, but you can see this drop spreader is working. You can see the product all right there. So, if some of you guys are wondering why my lawn looks like crap back here, one, I didn't de thatch, so I mulch a lot back here. But uh, second, I'm lowering the height of cut because I don't like long grass in the middle of winter to help avoid uh, snow mold with it kind of laying over. So, it makes all these dead spot looking things and uh, you know, I think it's pretty much too late now. It's not growing back. Woo. Well, that's it guys. You know, I like the theory behind the product. I'm going to try it out. I mean, going the organic route seems to be a lot better, especially when you have a family. I got four kids, so they run around on the grass. It was like 40 bucks a bag. It covers the whole property. I'll do that for the next like two years, you know, and see, maybe we can get rid of it organically. But uh, all right, guys, that's about it. I left the Electra out in the rain. Let's see if that thing still works. And uh, man, it's a, such a good looking machine, isn't it? All right, let me know in the comments below, man, if you guys want to see me uh, talk about those things, you know, that versus the Allet, you know, it's like, well, they're two different machines. You know, they're, they're, one does one thing, one does another, you know, in my opinion. So, but hopefully you guys found this helpful. 
in your journey to fight grubs, you know, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful. Give it a like. It helps out big time for these tiny little YouTubers like myself, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Garbage.